I can pickpocket him. Well, that's one way to kill a man. And no one noticed. All right. I'm going to get noticed. Oh. Bad news. Being concussed means I'm encumbered. Encumbered means I move real freaking slow. All right, we'll use guns. see anybody else. That hurt a little bit, but we'll be okay. Got anything else around here? Because I think I got everything, but I'm going to double check. I got that man, I got that man. Looting in this game is actually surprisingly easy, all things considered. Oh, I see. That actually is just an area transition. Okay, what about the hole in the wall? No, that's really not much of a hole in the wall. Okay, so that'll let me in again. Looks like the Marauders actually came in relatively recently. Commander's still here. There's a couple more. Quite a couple more. Looks like they're all in that house. Ow. There we go. I think I got him. There we go. Big cartridge, pistols. I think I I think I looted all of this. I popped this guy. Yeah, there he is. We're gonna have a lot of interesting clothing to sort through shortly. Actually, speaking of interesting clothing, we actually do have some some stuff that I should look at. Specifically the Ordnance Control Aramid Ballistics Armor. Yeah, that's that's a bit better. Uh what about this stuff? Uh lockpick bonus, I'll take it. Now we do also have the makeshift low. Pressure suit. I like this better. Maybe, I don't know, actually. I kind of like that red. It's striking. Melee weapon skills versus tech skills. We're going to go for the tech skills. Okay, can I get this open? Perfect. Now, I don't know if we got anybody home. How about reminds you of Flack? I can see that. No, looks like we don't have anything. All right. Bolter pistol. Handguns. Damage, energy, stagger. Interesting. I'll have to try some of the guns in this game. They seem like they're going to be a lot of fun, and, like, I'm going to probably roll melee for at least a little while longer just to stinge, but at some point we're going to switch over entirely to shooting, and that's just going to be how it goes. I'm going to be over encumbered here, but not much I can do about it. There should be another workbench in the next town. I guess I could try eating stuff? I don't actually know if you can just eat in this game. I think you have to stick it in your injector. Why is fashion more important than function? Because I like being pretty, even if I can't see myself. 
I'm just gonna have non-stop Adrena time. But yeah, we're probably gonna want to get our hands on repair skills next level up. Because yeah, I don't have anything, and I'm still a fair bit away. Bit of a ways away. I can get a lot of levels by killing stuff early on, but I think after a certain point it it stops off and isn't so useful. So you could use the apples from the inventory if I recall correctly. Oh yeah, you're right. Not the most helpful. But yeah, so I can use most of this stuff. Still encumbered though. Well, it's 180 meters. Got a couple of marauders on the way. We're close though. I think it's just this guy. These guys. Okay. That didn't work. Man, I just exploded that man. And he was just fine with it, apparently. I guess I probably should have shot for that explosive barrel. I like the explosive barrels in this game. Not bad. And yeah, I'll have to come back in a little while and actually loot, loot the rest of these. <sighs> Ooh, that, that apple regen, though. Is decidedly choice. Like, I, I heal damn fast. If I ever get the opportunity to raise my stats, I might actually just go for the uh, the HP regen above all else. Because I bet that, that'll actually make a decent difference here. Because I, I passed on it earlier thinking, ah, I'm not going to be constantly in combat. And the answer is, no, I'm, I'm in combat a little bit more often. Yeah, I see all sorts of neat things that I want to get into. Specifically, anytime there's a red door like this, it means I can lockpick into it. Which, you know, might not actually have the most useful things, but benefit is just a little bit of VXP. Every little bit counts. I will be so overleveled. But I think I heard the max level in this game is 30, which is a bit of a shame. I kind of prefer when there's just no max level and you can just go bananas. If you so wish. Nothing else in here. Unfortunately, one of the unfortunate things for me, not a big deal, but uh, specifically, oh, hi. They're actually kind of cute. Anyway, vendor, vending machines offer a variety of items to purchase, mostly from one company. Hack skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine. And then hack skill 40 or higher lets me buy the restricted items. Ooh, it looks like they actually have some of the, the fun weapons. Or not fun weapons, the riot control helmet. That might be kind of neat. Uh, let's see. First off, let's sell some things. What sells high? Can I, can I check based on value? Okay. I have a lot of assault rifles. See, bolter pistol, plasma rifle, another assault rifle. Let's see, sentry saber, other sentry saber. Multiple revolvers. Should probably sell the cobbled exosuits. Rebuilt mining gear? Yeah. I think I'm wearing that, but maybe I'm not. An LMG. A stun baton. Ooh, and it does electrical damage. Light assault rifle. What's the difference? Long gun, magazine size. Heavy damage, 18. I see. Light has slightly more ammo and does... They both do stagger. Magazine in sight. Magazine. So I'll get rid of the LMG. Let's get rid of the light pistols. I'll probably even get rid of the sawed-off shotgun. I think I prefer a little bit of range. What else have we got? Hibernation suit. That's what I started with. I don't know how I feel about it.
But yeah, I figured by getting rid of at least a decent amount of this junk, my inventory will get a little bit less full. Do I want to... Yeah, I'm going to probably sell most of the spare food. Just so my inventory isn't stupidly full. Because these apples, they all give the same effect as my apples. So I might as well clear out everything but apples. Let's see, I've got... Oh, there's Adreno versus Adrena time. Eh. I didn't realize there was a difference. I just figured everybody was addicted to healing kits. Okay, and that's ammo. Everything else? Okay, fish sticks. Let's go back up here. They have a lot of chemicals in this game. I'm sure it's actually worth using some of this stuff, but... Okay, inventory got a lot less full, which means I can go back to wandering around. Never mind, it's still stupidly full. What is so heavy? Is it the apples? Is it all of the Adreno? Or is it the spare armor? It's probably the spare armor and weapons that I'm packing. Maybe I should just go back and sell all of the things. I'm hoarding things to see if I want to use it. But that might not be a bad, uh, might not be a good idea. Let's sell the LMG. Well, let's sell the uh, toss ball sticks. They're not actually that good. I'd like to try the. I wonder why that has a red. Does that mean it does energy? Da it, yeah, that's the that's the damage type. That's probably not the suit that I'm wearing. Same thing with this revolver. And I'll get rid of the hibernation suit probably. I know there's a sell junk, but I think you have to specifically label things as junk to sell it sell it as such. Yeah, how much do the mods weigh? Half a pound each? Yeah, so the real answer is just I have so many of some of these things that they're getting kind of heavy. That's probably the case. Okay, I'm down I'm down considerably more, so that's good. Let's go back to just looting everything that isn't nailed down. I will probably want to futz with my carry carry weight at some point, so I don't have to constantly worry about it. Then again, as I as we get further oh, hacking and picking well, I've already got this. Oh, there's no mini game for either of these. You know, I actually kind of really appreciate that. I'll admit I never really liked the Fallout hacking or lock picking. It's it's fun, but it's like, eh. Okay, personal files. These are just marketing things. Messages. To Robinson. Boss want to check up the new Saltuna Light Project. Brainstorming. No, this is all garbage, I think. Yeah. Okay. So I don't actually want to open up the door here because I'm pretty sure I can just pick that lock. Yeah, I can. You don't want to use hacking to get the door open. You want to hack the terminal, see that you can get the door open, and then go lock pick the door open so you can actually have it. So you missed the lockpicking and rare breed. Like the minigame. I liked it. It just dragged on. Ooh, energy hammers. Might be kind of fun. Oh, we never actually looked at what the vending machine downstairs could sell. That seems like it would be a good idea. Oh, we gotta go back down that way anyway. Yeah, it's fun for the front door, but if there's multiple in a base, it's a, it's a pain. Yeah, it's about where I am. So, impact hammer. I think I have one of those, though. What else do we have? Other impact hammer. What's the difference? Dunno. Maybe tinkering level and stuff? What else do we have? Nightingale step. Oh, reduces footstep noise. That'll be nice. 
At some point, we'll screw around with modding. Not immediately. Okay. So seeing if, as I have the extra speed, let's quickly go back. I don't think there's anything else there. I like those little puffball things. A little blinding, but I like them. Yeah, did I actually go into any of these buildings? Can I go into any of these buildings? No. And I did make sure to loot these guys, yeah? Okay, so... Nothing else, I think? This is... Aha! Because this is the bandit camp. We might as well see what they've got sitting around in here. The answer is... Next to nothing. These guys were pretty poor. A lot of those guys just kind of sitting around. Anything in the backyards? Nope. What about over here? I get the distinct feeling trying to be too much of a loot monger is not going to get me anywhere. So let's just... Transition to Edgewater. Uh, I mean, that's, that's tempting. It's in here quick, though. I hear critters, I think. More combat drones. Oh, it's a damaged mechanical sentry. And we just got a Nightingale step mod. Awesome. I can't really do anything Searching with this, can I? For repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. Engineering 10, dumb. Nothing a good smack won't fix. Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. Good luck, I guess. Okay, right. You guys have reminded me I actually have some interesting new weapons to toy around with. We'll keep the... Well, I have two stun batons, so I should probably sell one. I'm going to keep my, my telescope and staff... Impact hammer and a stun baton. And do I want to try the jolter pistol? We'll try the jolter pistol instead of the revolver for a little while. I've got a whole bunch of energy ammo, and it looks pretty swank. All right. So you can now call me Thurg. It's like Thor, but way dumber. Just about as effective. Not actually, no, not really. Not even close. But I am Thurg. Lord of Th Thurnger. Don't know how to spell thunder. Please too much. Okay. Uh, let's see. There is loot in here. I can't believe there's so much of these just, like, lying around. Like, this game is way, maybe a little bit too friendly for the loot. Which, you know, I'm 100% down with. I, I love it when games are super friendly with, with loot and lootables. Because that means I can just, I can live out my kleptomaniacal habits as much as I wit wish with, like, minimal penalties and pretty hefty profits. I thought you were going to... Self-diagnostics initiated. Please do not... I thought he was going to go back. Let's see, wasn't I going to go check out the community center? Yeah, I was. Uh, let's see. Do we do community center now? Yeah, let's go back. Let's, let's try fast traveling to the community center. <laughs> I should have probably gone into Emerald Vale, or whatever. I, I should have actually gone into the town first, but whatever. Let's go clear out the community center, and... Were there any other buildings in town? Because I think I checked... Yeah, I checked this building out. Maybe. Nothing in the cash register. Maybe I wasn't as thorough as I thought I was. But yeah, let, let's go check that out. Oh, man. I really have missed this this kind of game. Like, I, I I said this earlier, but I really hope Microsoft doesn't pull a rare with Obsidian and more or less just chucks money at Obsidian and Obsidian chucks good games at the rest of us and it's just this kind of nice symbiotic relationship. Thurg, Lord of Blunder. B-class B -class Thunder. Thurg, Lord of Blunder, on his way! Zappy, zappy! Bad men go zap! Bad men got shooty stick! Bad men get the thwack! Mm. Not big enough! Need more 
need more Thurg. Shoot. There we go. Man, go by. Oh, I like the music. Where bad man go? Bad man get hammer. Yes. First room key. Yes. What is? Primals. Oh well. Canids. What is coming soon? Manta Queen. Ooh. I get the feeling we're going to have to fight one of those. I wonder if we get a quest to clear out the uh, community center. Honestly, if we do, I'm fine with it. It's kind of one of those where these games I kind of enjoy just randomly wandering first and then getting the side quest to come back later and being like, hmm, there is nothing here except for the mobs that spawn for the quest. It is now trivial. Antique saber? <gasps> oh. Antique saber is not actually a weapon I can use. Damn it. I was excited for a bit. Bad get man gets the butt smack. Other bad man! Didn't even notice! Wow, other bad man lost his brain. Well, uh, it's fine. Anything else around here? Uh, looting things. Yes. Uh, let's see, did I? Yeah, I got that bin. Vending machine discovered. Hey, I like the vending machine system in this that they're going with. That'll make it easier for looting, buying, and selling on the fly. It really does kind of feed into my kleptomaniacal tendencies in a way that, you know, I'm not going to have to constantly worry about how much is in my inventory. Because I can just stop by this thing and be like, hi, sell junk. I'm pretty sure I still have a lot of weapons that I should probably sell, though. Oh, yeah. They get heavy. Let's just sell all the extra sentry sabers. We do have this one, which I think might be able to be tinkered up, but eh. What else do we have? Two plasma rifles. I'll just sell that one. And yeah, it doesn't look like merchants have any kind of limitation either, which is beautiful. I like it when that happens. What can I buy from this thing? Looks like... Ooh, hello. Never mind. Advanced defensive helmet. Armor heavy. We also have elite troop armor. Well, I got a lot of money, yeah? Seeing as I'm going to be taking some damage. Let's, uh... Let's get pretty. Oh! Look at me! Oh, okay. I am sold. I don't even care. I look... I... I look the part of danger, and it is beautiful. First aid room key. Oh, sweet. Man, this game... You know, it's a weird year when... Two of my biggest contenders for Game of the Year are Outer Worlds and Outer Wilds. Oh, yeah, that's that's most definitely a quest. Get some kind of experimental med, med kit from here. Cool. And that's Bard. Well, that's fine. Yeah, a lot of outer things. That's also Bard. Oh. I can unbar. Cool. I didn't actually hack this, did I? Encode first aid key card. And return to root. Logs? Eh. Okay, so we got a couple more things to check out. Nothing else there, nothing there. Dead man. Weird rat thing? Weird rat thing does not feel like giving me the bitey. So that's good. Hunter kit. Yeah, so definitely putting the next 
multi multiple dozens of skill points generally into uh into tech skills so I can actually start modifying equipment. Don't envy this game when Cyberpunk comes out. I do what I don't. The thing is, Cyberpunk's going to be stupidly long and like kind of dark and gritty. This is a game that I would probably come back to. Cyberpunk is a game that I will probably play once. Any messages from Rosenberg? Key cards. Tremel. Magic Queen's wasting the budget and Hunters and Trackers. Oh, all the hunters that went after the Manta Queen died. So that sucker is going to be hurdy when we finally get around to fighting it. Okay, so it looks like I'm done with this area. I love the fact that there's no sprint stamina either. But yeah, I I am and will be looking forward to uh, Cyberpunk 2077. But I think this game is immediately more accessible. Probably. Oh, Guide to Mechanical Engineering. Like, it's relatively light on actually fiddly gameplay. It's paced pretty well. And admittedly, the pacing for me was, oh, cool, we've started the game, we talked to, like, two people, and then immediately it's off to the races, uh, hammering everything into small, fleshy paste buckets. And nothing more. I can't believe I missed this stuff. Okay, I think we're good here. Doodle the thing for this. Oh, I can't wait, Anonis. I love that poster, it's great. And so, like... I like... I like everything that CD Projekt Red comes up with, but I never finish their games. This game already feels like the kind of game that I would gladly load up multiple times and be very happy with it, just because... It's just fun. Like, I'd like to play Witcher 3 someday, but holy shit, that game is not... Not a very, like, easy game that you can just, like, blow through in a couple of hours. Because I think this game caps out at about, like, 20-30 hours, which is good. And Geralt's a rough protagonist to get used to. I do like Geralt as a protagonist. I, I actually don't like this kind of protagonist where you're just kind of... You're not silent, you have words to say, but you're not really a character. You're just kind of a vehicle for the player to exi uh, exert their will on the environment around them. I don't know how I know, just like immediately beeline for that, but hey, whatever. Sup, hey, nerds? Okay, anything interesting around here? And I level up from Petty Thievery. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to invest in tech. Oh boy, yeah, we need to. At least this gets me uh, tinkering, which is good. I appreciate that uh, stats just affect your initial uh, your initial skills, but you can just ignore it past a certain point. Okay, let's use workbench. What can I what can I tinker with? None of what I currently have. I could upgrade a sword, but I don't know if I care. Can I tinker with my armor? Oh, I see. It'll cost 54 bits. Heck yeah. So... So that just increases the level by one. And by doing so, it just increases the stats. It does hurt my stealth skills a bit, which is unfortunate. I'll keep the hibernation suit around, probably. Or the riot control armor, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, so you can just spend money to scale equipment up. That's so nice. Level 4, level 2, level 5. Oh, and it looks as it looks like as things get more damaged, the uh the the lower damage it has. Let's see. So I can in install mods as well. So what do we have? Hunter kit, ranged weapon skills, and tech skills. 
Might not be a bad idea. Armor by damage type. Interesting. It reduces my defense. We also have Nightingale stack. What's that? Backpack? Backpack seems really useful. Or geographic scanner. Ooh. Interactable highlight range plus five meters. How many of these mods can I install? I see. So we can have a gadget, a skill kit. Okay, gadget, skill kit. I got it. And a utility. Well, we don't have gadgets yet. I understand. Well, I've kind of given up on sneaking anyway, so maybe it's not that important. Okay. Spacer's Choice, Holcom 3, 3 Trouble Tickets. Trouble Ticket. Loader failure on startup. Oh, let's see. I don't know if any of this is relevant, really. Failure of main cannery production line. I've been playing a lot of Disco Elysium, so reading stuff like that might be relevant, and maybe I'll have to worry about it, but I don't want to spend too much time, because if it's just kind of like lore background stuff, I'll generally skip it unless it seems really important. I know in Disco Elysium, by reading all all these like weird lore logs, it actually gives me like skill bonus bonuses to everything, every interaction. Like if you guys like the role playing aspect of this game and haven't taken a look at Disco Elysium and how it works, please do yourself a favor and check it out because it's it is by and far one of the better. Uh, it, like it is by and far one of the the better best CRPGs I've ever played. Uh, let's see. Like, there, there's just something truly amazing about it. Let's see. Fast travel while encumbered might not be a bad idea. Extra walk and sprint speed might not be terrible. Extra ammo, base armor rating, companion. So what do we think? Inventory speed, movement speed, or uh, fast travel while encumbered? Go fast. Let's go fast. Let's go for sprint speed. Or people are saying fast travel. Ooh. Yeah, okay, let's do fast travel encumbered. Then we'll do sprint speed, then we'll do carrying capacity. And that'll be my first five skill skill points. Hopefully once we start doing quests, and we should be able to knock some of them out of the park real quick. Considering I've already been to a lot of places. Then it should make it easier. Hello. Like, no, it's not robbery here, interestingly enough. Wish we had some better rations. Don't let the boss catch you saying that. Okay. Hello, Congable. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in Frontier Justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. I found this cache of medicine. Thought I should turn it into you. Anthracillin, huh? That's an anti-Cleo product. I appreciate your vigilance on behalf of Spacer's Choice. I'll make sure this medicine goes to where it's most needed. Which is where exactly? Sealed, packaged, and delivered to a Spacer's Choice storage facility. Standard procedure for contraband, you see. Contraband, I'm bringing you medicine. You people need this. Medical treatment by anti Cleo's products is strictly prohibited under Spacer's Choice Company policy. I distribute this medicine to our workers, and we're all complicit in a crime. That's ridiculous. If you are one of our workers, I would be obliged to mark that comment on your permanent record. Okay. Well, that that sucks. Ah, uh, let's see. Load game. Quick save. Okay. Perk point. Uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna rethink this. I'm gonna go for moving speed. We're gonna hold on to that medicine. I think we're gonna quick save before I turn stuff like that in in the future. Oh boy, this sprint speed was worth it. We gotta go face. 
We go, go real fast. Look at this. Zoom. Okay. Oh, hey. Uh, let's see. I didn't actually notice this. L open last search. Two records found. First entry. Indumati left Edgewater today. She's been reassigned to Terra One. Kissed her goodbye at the platform. Asked if I'd ever see her again. We both an knew the answer was no. Look up and think of me. I'll think of you. Transcript. Note from Indumati. Hey, Robert. He wouldn't let me keep her. But I know you'll raise her with love. Perhaps more than I would make time for. You're patient and present in a way that I'm not. The company says she has no name until you give her one. Her name is Parvati. They tell me her birthday will be set on the date she's legally delivered to you. So she was actually born on July 7th. Make her feel special when I can. can't. She liked it when I sang to her. It was the only time she stopped crying. What the hell? Wow, that is dark. And we found the record on Young Spacer's Guide. Okay, into work of the cannery. Wow. Yeah, that's super freaking dark. Good thing I can't, uh, I guess, reloaded and have to reload everything. Uh, it takes, like, no time. I do feel bad for robbing all these people, but they ain't using it. Okay, so we are not giving her medicine. Honestly, might hold off on turning in anything. Let's talk to her. Welcome to the space. Okay, looking for work. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. Uh, let's see. Got some questions for you. Uh, let's see. Does the name Phineas Wells mean anything to you? His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Looks like there's a bounty on the set. Or oh, never mind. Okay. Can I use terminal? Bounty records. Open bounties. Giarm. Gil Antrim. Uh, let's see. Generous bounty. Bleh. Doc Mabel Burgess. I think most of these are just kind of background details for these people. Mostly larceny. Basic things. What was the last one? Open bounties. Pretty cotton. Oh, former vicar acting, acting on the behalf of the Order of Scientific Inquiry. Stationed on the Edgewater Vicarage. Suffered psychological breakdown upon showing symptoms of plague. Okay, that's creepy. <laughs> Spacer's Choice Department of Retirement, Termination, and Restitution has filed a writ of execution for Bertie Cotton. Effective immediately, the Order of Scientific Inquiry has declined a response. Vicar Cotton's sermons are considered defunct and obsolete. Spacer's Choice advises purging them from your memory. With the help of 0G, 0G Brew, an ale that's good for what ails you. Generous bounty, payment on delivery. Wow. Bounty records. Closed bounties. There are no closed bounties. Man, these people are terrible. For a lot of reasons. Sedition, forgery, conspiracy. Conspiracy, commit conspiracy. Unlicensed medical practice and destruction of board property. Yeah, I'm not turning him in. He's awesome. I'm Everybody else here right. kind of is awful. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never. What's up, dude? Whoa, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you... Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow, uh, bright and early tomorrow, because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. You want to tell me what's got you so nervous? You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? I'm positive you mentioned something about being plagued. You don't know that. Uh, I could have been saying anything. Maybe I said vague. You know how words sound a mite strange when you're sick. Wait, no. Oh, damn it. Okay, listen. Maybe I am feeling a little under the weather, but I swear I'm on the mend. Please, don't tell the constable. Why not? She'll toss me in the sick house. I would have confessed before the good vicar. Get some ablutions for my spirit. 
Just never found my courage is all. Hey, you're hale and healthy and possibly for hire, ain't ya? I'd do a good turn for an expiring old man. How can I help? There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Not so fast, got some questions. I'll do what I can. Why can't you buy medicine yourself? I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. That's horrible. Or, in other words, the company won't treat you because you're already sick. More like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy enough. I assume there are guards? You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. What, you can, what can you tell me about the Marauders? I have it on good authority. There's a I'm just going to kind of ignore it. So you'll... Let's see. I'll, I'll do it. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spread. Okay. So, he's another person that wants it. What has he got in his bedroom? Anything else? Everybody has bypass stints, by the way, which is kind of interesting. Like, there are hacking tools of plenty around here. Hey, okay. To to oh, Esther Blaine wants to talk to me. So, who's the last person that needs this medicine? Because there's probably another person that needs it, too. Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. What do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Let me worry about that. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Yeah, let's see, I get it. You need someone to smuggle you medicine under the table. Something like that. Look, I'm not in the habit of lawbreaking, but sometimes you've got to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. Okay, so she's the one I, I should give the anthracillin to. Or is there a fourth party that wants this? Because apparently I have to worry about this with at least a couple of these quests. I'm fine with uh, I'm fine with this to some degree because I'd prefer to avoid handing medicine to jerks like the constable because she's awful. It'd be interesting if I just went on like a smacking spree on the constable, uh, and this town dis dissolved to lawlessness. Can't say you know of another. All right, anthracillin. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Yeah, that Here. was worth it. Something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. Never, that's harsh. At least give me something to remember you by. You do have some cheek on you. Lucky for you, I kept a little contingency fee in case you tried to negotiate with me. I'm curious, who are you going to give the medicine to? Somebody deserving. Silas, on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia, seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? What do you, uh, what do you do here? Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. I'll leave you be. I should put this hammer away. Reputation of the faction has changed. If enemies are hostile, but your reputation isn't kill on sight, leaving for a few days to calm things down. People of Halcyon... Okay, and it's gone. Well, that's fine. I got a lot of EXP from that one. Still not enough, level up, not enough to level up, but it's a nice amount. No, you seem like somebody that might have a quest for me. That's true. I'm Captain Kronk. 
or Alex Hawthorne, Captain of the Unreliable. Uh huh. The Unreliable, you say? Never heard of any company supply ship with that particular name. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. Something going on here that I should know about? <laughs> Am I that easy to read? Yeah, we've been having some problems lately. Loyalty issues, lines in the sand. I know where folk in Edgewater stand, but you, I don't know you. If you're gonna have a drink, I'd like to ask that you do it within the premises. <sighs> Can't have you taking drinks over to those deserters. Fine by me, let's, uh, what's this about deserters? <sighs> Traitors, the lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. The town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? Uh, let's right see what up. she has to say. Or not say, sell. The answer is not really anything useful. All right, that's fine. What is in the back room? Me, that's what. 